Pop squat. Come on at you. Uh, we've got something from Breakins that we're going to do tonight. Uh, I have really enjoyed... Uh, I think I've only done one song by Breakins. Let's check this. Uh, but I have listened to it a ton. Uh, I downloaded it to my phone, and yeah, awesome. Oh, two songs. Oh, that's right. Um, Deep Fake is the one that I know I absolutely have listened to over and over and over. I did it back in Jan uh, January, and then I did Sauce in the Rough in June, and I also really like that one. I'm not sure if I was able to download that. At least it hasn't really come up on my phone. Um, so, but it was also only last month, so not very long ago. Really enjoying Breakins' stuff, though. Um, this is called 5G. This was suggested by one of my patrons, Matthew. Uh, and he included a note that said this is one of his, or this is his favorite, or one of his absolute favorite um, Breakins tracks. This is the official audio from it. Uh, before we get to it, I also want to remind people if you would like to be a patron, much like Matthew is, very fine, talented, intelligent fellow, um, you can find my uh, Patreon link down below in the description to this video. If you want to send me one-off videos, and that's only $2 a month. That's the minimum. Two bucks, you can do more if you want. You can, If you do $10, then you get um, automatically added to the Discord. And um, you can suggest songs in Discord. You can suggest songs on Patreon. I go through every now and again, collect everything, and update my lists. And um, yeah, actually, my list right now from the patrons is getting sort of short, but I know I have a bunch of stuff in there to collect from people. So it's going to keep going just fine. Uh, if you want to join that, I would love it. I'd love to get thousands and thousands and thousands of people on my Patreon for $2 a month because I think I give $2, $2 worth of value. Um, then, if you want to send me one-off things, there's Cash App and PayPal, 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 PayPal down below. <laughs> and uh, if you're an artist and you've created something, you can send stuff to me at popsquad08 at gmail.com. I want to first off say um, I got married today, and um, because of that, uh, I'm going to be out of town for a day or two, and so I'm recording a couple of videos to post tonight couple of videos tonight to post tomorrow uh, just so I don't miss anything and then I'll be back here on Saturday to post a couple things quote-unquote live um, I will probably also be hitting 50,000 subscribers tomorrow maybe the next maybe it'll be Saturday um, it's we're only I can do math 27 people away Oh no, that's going to be 900. Or we're 127 people away. That's good. 127. That's going to take a couple days. Good. So I don't need to worry about that. So let's uh, let's get to Breakins. 5G. It's just three minutes and 30 seconds long. I did not. Oh, yep. I do have the lyrics over here. This is off of an album called Hypochondriac, which I think I've listened to something off of before. Track number six. Uh, 5G. There's a note here. Let's move it on over and take a look at it. Ooh. Uh, 5G, 5G, 5G. 5G is about the impact of technological and social media on the on Breakitz's life. The artist is torn between advantages of his online presence and the negative effects it has on his mental health and relationships. He is struggling with feelings of guilt and putting himself above others and for being unable to take care of himself. The use of the term demon suggests that he feels consumed and controlled by his phone and social media habits. The song mentions the effects of 5G technology and how it intensifies the situation, making it more difficult for the artist to disconnect and find peace. The chorus repeats the refrain, baby, don't be my crutch when this shit get gory. As a plea for someone to help him uh, through this difficult time. Don't be my crutch when this shit get gory as a plea for someone to help him. I don't know. 5G is the sixth track on Hypochondriac, released in December of 2022. This is the second album to date, with 13 tracks total. Is the first released by him since he signed to Columbia Records in 2021. Oh, I didn't know he was on Columbia Records. Uh, let us give this a listen. And this is uh, tagged as... Pop, glitch, oh, glitch, hyper pop, electronic, experimental, alternative, alternative pop, and drill. There's no chance that I don't like this, too. Uh, Break It's is quickly moving up on my list of uh, 
creators I want to listen to lots and lots and lots. Uh, let's get into this. Three minutes, 30 seconds. 5G from Break-Ins. Baby, don't be my crush when you're sick and gory. Got that radio I can touch, so for purgatory. See, heard the story, I've been... That voice just so reminds me of Sewer Person Nine Tails. Um, in the same category as uh, Fat C, probably even 93 Feet of Smoke. Um, that, there's a bunch of people who are kind of in the emo area that have that fantastic quality of anguish that they're able to bring to a song. And Breakins is doing the exact same sort of thing, but making a very different style of music. Um, it's really cool. Let's go. Baby, don't be my crush when you're sick and gory. Got that radio I can touch, so for purgatory. See, heard the story, I've been wearing a demon. Uh, barely been eating. Uh, scrolling all night, that's why I can't get the grief. Baby, don't be my crush when you're sick and gory. Got that radio I can touch, so for purgatory. See, heard the story, I've been wearing a demon. Uh, barely been eating. Uh, scrolling all night. Break it all down, like, what does it mean to me? I got oh, my God, I love and just the glitchiness of it the sudden stops to the notes that are ah, it's so good it's i fucking love it i mean i it just is so exactly the sort of stuff that i enjoy listening to it's a little experimental it's a little unusual it's just i love it Break it all down, like, what does it mean to me? I got in this position so damn easily. Think I got good intentions, I got decency. But am I really a good person when I need to be? I need to be. He put me on a pedestal and like nine tweets. I'm getting this tightness in my chest. It made me grind my teeth. So I'ma just take another edible and go 5G. Oh, friends that hate me now, I'm never gonna find my feet. Always pitting myself up. You the feeling. I do like this part where he's going through and like giving these little snippets. Yeah, feast on an open mind. I can't budget the feed. And then he keeps injecting these eyes on the phone, eyes on a phone, eyes on a phone, eye, eye, eye. And he's coming up. Oh, it's such a great way to give you that, that whole idea of like, okay, he's having a thought. Now he's looking at his phone again. He's having a thought. He's looking at his phone again. He's having a thought. It's just like we do all day, every day. I mean, so many, so many people do. I mean, I, I absolutely do it. And I'm not as bad about it as a lot of people are, but I totally understand it. Right. We're always connected all the time. I mean, the only thing that saves me from looking at my phone all the time is that I'm on my computer all the time looking at my inbox, and I don't get that many text messages except it's from a friend, and I immediately check it and, you know, text back. And I just absolutely understand. I think anybody who is under 60 at this point gets this, and especially if you're under 50, 40 definitely 30 definitely 20 and you have a cell phone which everybody does it's constant it's constant because it feeds your pleasure centers it just it just taps into something in you that it, it, it's not even that you can't control it it controls you right like oh that was cool oh that was cool that was cool it gives you like a cool little piece of information or it gets you riled up because somebody posts something about trump the moron du jour or 
some social media thing that you know, like you follow some famous person and oh they had oh this they did this oh there's a new movie dropping oh there's a new trailer there's it's constant 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 you can always be distracted by something so yeah this this song definitely makes sense love the sound of it i mean i'm I, I would listen to this even if this, the lyrics were completely indecipherable and didn't matter and it was just texture. I would still listen to this song because the music is so cool. What it reminds me of, too, a lot of the music, and maybe I'll back up and see if I can find a good spot for it, or just as you're listening to, to what we, we go through here in the next little bit till the song ends. What it reminds me of a lot, and I've never seen this before or heard this before, is it reminds me of people who do really good really advanced beatboxing and how they make a sound stop that sound because their mouth can't continue to make it and, and they quickly move on to another sound and that's what some of this music sounds like it's like okay here's a cool sound and note it ends like i'm just gonna stop the 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 file from from progressing any further and put something else in there it so reminds me of that and uh, just give a listen and see if you think you agree because I find it really interesting and I dig in this music I hope I'm buried in a forest That is, if any of us left, this shit is torn But now I'm using up my gift to write a chorus Always to myself above you to feel important No, I'm never gonna take that time I can't be rewarded, go be recorded I've been doing in a demon, uh, Barely been needed, uh, scrolling all night Even that little bit at the end is interesting to me because it it just is, you know, solid note. It kind of goes off, but it it's sort of that ever-present sound in the background of your life that, that social media has kind of become, that your phone has become of like this thing that's just constantly there. It's always there. It's never off. It's always reminding you there's something you've got to look at or do or what like it so totally reminds me of that. The other thing that I think is really cool that they've got going on here is these little snippets. I mean, they're samples, right? Um, where he is singing but then there's like this woman's voice that comes in and says something briefly. Or that little skip right there. In fact, I know this stuff I'm talking about is back here a little ways. That right there. There's just sort of this tiny little snippet of a woman's voice, I think, that comes in and says something heist or does, it, it's indecipherable to me. Um, eyes, maybe? Um, I could maybe look at the lyrics. Or it, it almost sounds like a sigh that, that she comes in and says something. And that reminds me of sort of like quickly paging through something with the sound on. 
and like oh skip that i know i don't like i just have to see for the briefest of seconds and i'm like no i don't want to see that or, or i've seen it before and so you just get this like one little instant of of a of a sound that comes through and then you're on to the next thing that you want to look at um this is a very cool song i really like this i like the stuff he's making uh, the sound of it especially it just absolutely into it i'm downloading this it's going on my favorites i'm gonna to listen to this tomorrow in the car with my girlfriend and uh, it's fantastic fantastic matthew thank you for sending this in pop squat Check it out. please like subscribe and share i just hit the mic sorry about that uh i do also want to uh remind people come on uh, about Animal House Seattle having a show on the 29th of July. So if you're in the Seattle area and you like, say, emo music or want to go to an emo rave at a very cool club. I haven't been there, but I've seen pictures on Instagram and it looks like a crazy good time, um, especially if I were, say, 30 years younger. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to try to go to the show, though, because Fatsy, Lil Narnia, Polearm, Anxiety Attacks, Rude Club, Alley Cat, Dream Cash, Lil U, Mayhemp. I uh, saw so they updated it with Capo XXO is going to be there. It's going to be an amazingly cool show. Amazingly cool. You can get tickets ahead of time online, $12, uh, plus taxes and fees, things like that. Um, this is the Eventbrite site for the Animal House Presents Emo Rave. And... Um, they're selling uh, that little orange button with taxes and everything. It's fourteen sixty four, fifteen dollars at the door if you just wait to pick up tickets there. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I, there's, I have absolutely no doubt it's going to be a good show. Thanks again to Matthew. I will be back with some more music. One more track today, and then I'll have two that I'll post. Uh, I'll, I'll do tonight and post for tomorrow. So, thank you very much, and have a good night. Bye bye.